This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this crazy typography animation inside of After Effects, that too without using any third party plugins. It's a super fun effect, looks pretty dope, and it's very, very easy to create. So, with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. But before we start, if you're watching my video for the very first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. Now, let's get back to the tutorial. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080 full HD, 10 seconds long and 30 FPS. Let's call this render as our main render comp hit. Okay, then let's create one more new composition. This is going to be our text placeholder. So I'm going to change the width to 1500 and set the height to 240. Call this text hit. Okay. Select the text tool and then you can type in, of course, anything that you want. I'm going to type in typography. Let's align this into the center. And for the font, I'm using the Mont font. I have mentioned the link in the description if you want to download the same exact font. So here we have our text ready. Now let's create one more new comp. This is going to be a text strip. So let's call this. Let's call the strip actually. Underscore O one. All right, now let's change the width to 4500 and increase the height to 480. That is double of 240. Hit OK. Now let's drag and drop in the text composition here. I'm going to align this on the top. Now, if you don't see this align tab, you can find it under Windows Align. All right, then let's go into effects and preset and search for an effect called motion tile. Double click to apply that and now I can increase the output width to something like 500 and now let's animate the tile center like so. So let's create a new keyframe right here. Go all the way up to 10 seconds and I'm going to simply drag this point holding shift like so. So now we have a pretty simple text animation. Let's select this text composition, hit control D to duplicate it, pull this below and I'm going to just simply put this here or you can use the align tab then go into effects and preset and search for fill so we can add some nice color to this text and you can give it any color of course that you want i'm going to give it something like black and then right over here i'm going to double click to create a rectangle like so going to rectangle one rectangle path one and let's unlink this and set this to 240 now we can align this at the bottom and let's push this back like so now let's duplicate this hit control D to duplicate it. Go right over here in the fill and make this completely black and move this at the top. Now I can select the text two that is the black black text. And now I want to change the way it animates. So I'm going to go all the way up to 10 seconds, select the motion tile and drag this point holding shift to the right like so. So now we have something which looks like this. Pretty simple and easy. Now let's create a new composition called this 3D. Or you can call it, of course, anything that you want. Let's change the width to 1920 and height to 1080. Hit OK. Let's drag and drop in the strip one right over here. And now let's duplicate this. So hit Control D and make sure you duplicate the composition inside the project panel. So now we have strip two jump into this and all i have to do is reverse the order so i can make the first text black so i can simply go right here hit ctrl c to copy the fill paste it right over here then hide the fill on this one and then simply switch the shapes so move this at the bottom and move this at the top and boom there we have it so now we have strip one and strip two Right now, let's go back into our 3D composition. And what I'm going to do is switch this to 3D. Go right over here and change this from active camera to custom view. 
I can press C, which is a shortcut for camera tool. You can press C one more time to switch to a different uh, camera. Let's zoom this out and you know. All right, now let's duplicate this hit control D duplicated. And very important is that make sure the snapping right over here is on. So now I can basically rotate this so i can hit r to bring down the rotation and then let's rotate it in the y rotation so let's set this to something minus 90 and i can press c let's switch to a different angle hit v again and i can simply snap this right over here on this point so let's try to snap it right here then now we have something like this pretty cool or maybe let's put this at the bottom i think that should be much better yeah let's select this hit control d to duplicate it and let's put this one at the top and then switch to strip 2 so i'm going to hold alt and drag the strip 2 on the strip 1 so it's going to get replaced like that and then hit v again let's select this hit control d to duplicate it and let's move this one at this point so i can maybe probably switch the camera angle and hold this point oh make sure you hold this point properly and snap it right here and then switch this to strip 2 boom so now we have something like this now what i'm going to do is switch back to active camera all right right click create a new camera and switch the preset to 15 millimeters hit ok i can press C and now let's position the camera properly so I can just switch the camera rotate it like so you can also turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise I'm gonna rotate it like that let's zoom in And try to be as precise as possible just adjusting the position like this all right so that is looking pretty cool as you can see all right so this is looking great maybe I'll select this strip 2 that is the top layer and switch back to strip 1 and then rotate this so hit R and rotate it like so so probably like 90 degrees and yeah this is the look that I want to go for looking pretty cool now there are a couple of things that we would do to get a really interesting animation on this select the camera hit p to bring down the position and i'm going to add a very simple wiggle expression on this so hold alt and click on the stopwatch type in wiggle open and close parentheses let's go with 1 comma 70. so now we have a really interesting movement into the position which looks pretty good i can select the camera tool and maybe zoom it a little bit like that so now we have something like this which looks pretty interesting also i will add the wiggle expression to the z-axis of rotation so hit ctrl c to copy the position wiggle expression hit r to bring down the rotation hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the z rotation hit ctrl v to paste that up probably i'll switch this to 60 and now we have something like this it looks pretty interesting and then I will go into the camera option and let's add an expression, a wiggle expression onto the zoom of the camera to get a really interesting look. So hold all and again click on the stopwatch, hit control V. This time I'm going to go with 100. And let's see what we get. Yup, I think it's looking pretty cool. As you can see, there is a shift in the zoom we have position animating we have rotation and if anytime you feel like your uh, shape is going out of frame you can anytime switch to camera tool and let's zoom in a little bit now before i proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements 
Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. So you get a really cool look and basically that's it. That is how you can create this crazy typography animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. Now there are a couple of things that you can do. For example, I can actually create a new adjustment call this warp go into effects and preset and search for warp double click to apply that let's switch to i think it was twist yep and right off the bat we get a really interesting look to be honest i think twist is a bit too intense let's set it to 30 and now you get a really interesting look overall. I think it looks pretty crazy and you can, you know, have some fun around with it and use this technique to create a, a number of different effects. So that is basically it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. And if you already subscribed, hit that like button to motivate me and help me create more and more videos for you guys. And if you're feeling generous, then you can also support me on Patreon. I have mentioned all the links in the description below. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.